How's it going? This is Tim from 313. This is another episode of Collecting in the D. I just purchased a large football collection, mostly of uh, 60s and 70s stuff. And this is stuff that isn't, um, wasn't in, uh, I wasn't really looking for any real high graded stuff. This was for my personal collection. Um, so I'm just going to go through some of the commons that these are going to end up going into a box, but I figure you might just want to see them because they are pretty cool. There's an old Ron McDowell, Jim Grabowski. These are 69 no borders. They're really hard to find in any kind of great condition, but Ernie Kellerman, Paul Guidry, Willie Richardson, Jim Colclo, Walt Suggs. I already pulled out all the Hall of Famers. Earl Gross, Sonny Bishop. We'll go through these real quick just to let you take a look at what I got. There were over 300 cards in the lot. Jim Turner with the Jets. There's Tom Day, Art Graham. That guy played, but he was just hurt all the time. And Bob Capadona, Gary Ballman. A lot of these guys I wasn't too familiar with um, because they weren't really star players or there's Pete Gogolak, I know who he is, but Billy Cannon, Nick Rassus, Lenny Lyles, Benny McRae, Jim Cat Cavage, Al Denson, Goldie Sellers, Greg Bainham, Jim Flatley, Jim Cadle, Cheryl Hedrick, Jim Dunaway, and Jim Houston. Then I got a checklist. But then we got into some 70s cards. Let me set these aside for a minute. Got some 70s cards. These were a lot thicker card stock than the 69s. They were they're a little bit easier to find in better condition. So, um, Jacob, although there's always a problem with these cut cutting of these cards with tops at this time. That's why uh to find a gem 10 mint is near impossible. I mean, they're out there, but you've you've got to go through thousands of cards before you may find one. And that's kind of what I've been doing. I've been going through my whole collection, just trying to find some mid-grade to get some nines or whatever out of this set. Because they can command a premium. There's Benny McRae, Chuck Walker. There's an Emerson Boozer, but it was just really, I got better versions of that. Gadecki, Wysikowski, Johnny Morris, Ernie Coy, Mac Percival, Mike Stratton, Tony Baker, Nate Ramsey, Chu, David Lee, Garland Boyette, Howard Fest, Woody Peoples, Don Horn, Aaron Brown, Walt Suggs, Charlie Smith, and then we got into some 73s, I believe. Get rid of these. I'm just going to let you look at these real quick because they're just fun to look look at. Did get a lot of 68s was when I started collecting football was in 68. That's why a lot of these have a, a nostalgic value to me. Uh, these are 1972s. Um, they're in pretty decent condition. They're not too bad. I do have better versions of them. But uh, I did pull a lot of cards for my personal collection. And I'm not all that uh, sticky about condition as, as much as I am the player. So when I'm looking for my personal PC, it's about who the card is and, and whatnot. But then we got some 68s, which I really like the old uniforms of these players, these guys. I mean, that's he's with the Eagles, but that's obviously a Pittsburgh uh, uniform there, that too. That's a home and away with Pittsburgh. The Chargers uniforms are just awesome. Chiefs, Bob Talamini. He's a great player. Brian Rappahorst. Art Powell. Steve Tensey. Al Denson. Sid Blanks. That one was written on, which takes the value of that card down to zero pretty much. Pat Richter. Rick Redman. There's Tom Keating. He was a good player. Dick Westmoreland, all these guys were actually pretty decent players. I mean, as back when football was absolutely rough to play in the elements, uh, there wasn't that many turf uh, stadiums that they played in. 
It was all mud, blood, and guts, man. And go watch some of the old NFL films, and you'll see some of these guys playing. There's Jerry Logan. He was a pretty good defensive back. There's Walt Suggs again. Grady Alderman, definitely an all-pro. Dick Bass was a great player. Fred Cox. Dave Lloyd. Looks like he uh, got Lions. You know, there's Roy Jefferson. John David Crow. Clem Daniels. Carnell Gordon had a big interception in the Super Bowl. Tom Good. Paul Flatley. Peters. Namaya Wilson, Joe Morrison, Jim Bakken, George Myra, quarterback, Carl Kammerer, Willie Frazier, look at that pose, <laughs> and Kent McLaughlin, uh, Jack Clancy, Jim Tyrer, Bobby Maples, Bo Hickey, Frank Buncom, Keith Lincoln, Junior Coffey, Johnny Morris, just a few more of these, these are just going to go into a box for another 10 years so I decided to pull them out and look at them again there's Ernie Green Waylon Carol Dale with the Packers who just came over from the Rams there's Bernie Casey Lamar Lundy Rich Pettivone Dave Witzel Bobby Hunt Mike Mercer Ron Vanderkellen Ordell Brace Gary Collins Good player, Nate Ramsey, Jerry Smith, another good player, Pogue, Sam Baker in a Cowboys uniform, Bill Saul with the Colts, Kenny Willard, Gary Garrison there, the car's wax stained and all beat up, Norton, Tom Beer, Burford, Steve Barber, uh, Dan Grimm, not Russ Grimm, Andy Livingstone, Billy Cannon, Ralph Baker, Bobby Walden, Walter Roberts, and Henry Carr. Now, th those were the ones that just are going to be put into a box. They were uh, because of condition. These are ones that I picked up for my PC. These will go into my binders at Eric Barnes. Um... That name kills me. I'm not going to say it. There's Wendell Hayes. Billy Nelson, great quarterback for the Browns. Danny Abramowitz. Carol Dale. Hewitt Dixon. And Dick Bass. Dick Anderson, great player. Tommy Nobis, one of the best linebackers in the game. I'm surprised he's not in the hall yet. There's Chuck Howley. These are all guys that Roman Gabriel there. There's a little miscut on the bottom. That's going in my PC. John Hadel. He's not in the hall either. And I think he should be. But there's Jim Hart. Charlie Kruger. I think I mentioned in one of my videos that that was Jim Hart's rookie, but it's not. Uh, there's Bill Berge. Tim Rosovich with short hair. And old Tom Dempsey. The guy who uh, beat my Lions in 1970 with a 63-yard field goal to knock the uh, knock the Lions out of the playoffs that year it was a shame. It was a crying shame for sure. A guy with a half a foot kicks a 63-yard field goal. There's Tom Woodishick, Jerry Smith. Now these were pretty good centered cards. It was just the corners are hit on. Greg Cook, who was a fantastic quarterback. He just had an injury cut short his career, but that guy was a great quarterback. Uh, Danny Abramowitz, Roy Jefferson, Fred Cox, Roy Jarella, Lloyd Mumford, Lionel Aldridge, Carl Garrett, Paul Martha, Bob Tucker, Charlie Johnson, Larry Stallings, Fred Cox again with the 71s, Tucker Fredrickson, Walter Johnson, Haven Moses, there's another Tim Rosovich, Mike Garrett, Doug Buffon, Spider Lockhart. There's a 68 Paul Martha, a 68 Norm Sneed, which is just, this card it was loved, I guess. Milt Plum with a Lions jersey on. Actually played for the Rams. Eric Barnes, 68 card Matt Snell. There's Elijah Pitts, Hewitt Dixon. There's Jim Hart. I believe that may be his rookie card. Nope. 
I think he had one right for him. Might have been 67. I could be mistaken. There's Les Josephson. Wendell Hayes. Boyd Dollar. I'll never forget that pass that he caught in the end zone in the first Super Bowl. And he got flipped. There's Dave Osborne. George Sauer. Bill Nelson. Dan Reeves. The coach of the Denver Broncos for many years. John Hadle. There's Bob Jeter. I believe should be in the hall, but he's not. There's Spider Lockhart, Homer Jones, Don Perkins, Dan Pastorini from 75. There's a Jack Snow, 71, Tommy Novus, Frenchy Fuqua, 71 card. And then we got some pro action with Tom Matty, Calvin Hill, Bill Nelson, Rick Volk, Bo Scott, and then we got a Gary Philbin, Garo Yepremian. A Roman Gabriel action card. I don't know why they didn't. I guess they just didn't have the uh, license for the action shots, I guess. There's Mel Gray. That's going in my my personal collection. It's a great card. Great kickoff returner. I don't know if that's the same one. I don't, I don't believe it is. I think that's a different Mel Gray. Uh-huh. I think there was two Mel Grays, but I remember him anyway. But those are going into my personal collection. And then I had I did find a couple that like this Bob Greasy was in pretty good shape. It was worth a worth a sleeve, a little off center, but not bad. This George Blanda from 71 wasn't too bad. Receiving leaders was Fred Bolitnikoff, Otis Taylor. This John Riggins card, Hall of Famer, uh, rookie card, and a Roman Gabriel 1971 card. And then I pulled out, these are also going in my personal PC here too, but they're, I like these most of all, the best cards out of this whole 300 card Uh a lot that I, I got. <coughs> Excuse me. Got a bit of a sore throat going on today. My voice is sounding a little weird, but there's a 74 All Pro with Phil Volipiano and Ted Hendricks, the uh, the Hall of Fame linebacker for the Colts for men, or playing with the Packers then, but for the Colts. Um, there's John Mackey, Hall of Famer, Gene Hickerson, Hall of Famer, um, guard. With the Browns, great player. Bobby Mitchell's a Hall of Famer. Chris Hanberger, rookie card, who's also a Hall of Famer. Ron Mix, Hall of Famer. These are all Hall of Famers. So there's Herb Adderley. Um, I believe if they were in the Super Bowl, they got these style of cards. Um, I believe they played against Oakland um, that year. Either they were in the playoffs or in the Super Bowl. They got those side, that style of card. There's Ron Mix. He's a Hall of Famer. Howard Twilley. Charlie Taylor. Another Charlie Taylor from 69 with some paper loss up there. But that's going in my collection. Um, I didn't buy these to try to re resell or anything like that. These are This is Howard Twilley. This Don Meredith card here. He's not a Hall of Famer, but uh, he had, he played for some great Cowboys teams. You might remember him from doing Monday Night Football with Howard Cosell. Bob Hayes, he uh, was an Olympic sprinter and also a Hall of Famer now. Mel Renfro, many years with the Cowboys, a great defensive back. Um, you can watch some of the old NFL films, and he's all over the place. Uh, he's a Hall of Famer now, too. You got Jackie Smith. Everybody remembers, remembers him for dropping that pass you know, in, in the Cowboys games. And uh, But they forget about all the passes that he caught. He is a Hall of Famer and a great was a great tight end. Bobby Bell, that's a, a great card right there. Wish it was in better shape, but he's a Hall of Famer. Sonny Jurgensen, Hall of Famer. There's a uh, 70, Bob Hayes, Carl Eller with a big crease right in the middle of it. That's uh, Claude Humphreys, who's a 
Hall of Famer. That one's obviously miscut. Tom Mack, the Michigan boy, played for Michigan and uh, went on to be an uh, All-Pro with the Rams and a Hall of Famer. Uh, there's Jackie Smith again. Mick Tinglehoff, whole career as a center with the Vikings, uh, All-Pro center. And uh, he's a, in the Hall of Fame now, too. Jimmy Johnson is a Hall of Fame cornerback from the 49ers for many years. And then you have Paul Krause, who went on to play with the Vikings. You may remember him, but he's definitely a Hall of Famer. One of the best defensive backs of all time. There's Billy Shaw. He's a Hall of Famer and a guard. It's a pretty nice card there. The corners are a little hit. There's Ron Yeri. He's a Hall of Famer. And then we got in some John Brody, pro action card, a Roger Staubach, which is a really nice card. And we have Dave Robinson. He's a Hall of Famer with the Packers. John Riggins, another Hall of Famer in action. There's Bubba Smith, another Hall of Famer. Kenny Houston, he's uh, also in the Hall. Floyd Little is also in the Hall. Tom Mack again. Alan Page, who's also in the Hall of Fame. And then I got a Super Bowl game card, which the Cowboys beat the Dolphins 24-3 that year. And that was it for the uh, football lot that I got. Now what I wanted to do was kind of show you how I whittled down my other football cards and how I'm still going through the process to get it down to some cards for submission. And right now I'm just looking for centering because all the surfaces are good on these front and back and the corners are pretty decent. This one is, you can see, is not because I'm looking for at least gem eight to nines. And this one here is not going to make the cut. This Emerson Boozer is miscut on the bottom, so it's not going to make it. This Gene Washington is not going to make the cut. This Gary Garrison is really close. Um, it's a maybe. I'm going to kind of take another look at that. This George Webster card is just, I just, I'm getting down to the nitty gritty, so I just got to make up my mind. This Bob Berry card looks really good, nice and well-centered all the way around. I think that's a keeper, keeper there. This Jim Birney is a little bit off left to right, so I think I'm going to have to pass on it. It's like I said, I for their age, I think they're going to take it down a grade anyway. So uh, this Matt Snell's off left to right, so these will end up in my PC. This Eric Barnes looks really good. You know, I'm going to take a second look at that. This Haven Moses looks really good and centered. So like I said, I'm looking for centering now. Maybe a little thin on the top. Take a second look at that. This Carol Dale looks a little thin on the right side. I'm going to say no. It's another Jim Bierney. And I'm going to have to say no on that. i got to have some perfect centering on these cards, and I'm not getting it. This Jim Hart. Just looks a little too thin on the bottom. And this John Hadle is too thin on the right side. This Sonny Jurgensen's a no. This Larry Stallings is worth probably worth a second look. I'm gonna have to look at the back. I might have to measure. And we have this Chuck Foreman card, which looks really good as far as the centering. This Otis Taylor's off. This Talaferro's off. Billy Kilmer's off. So, so what I mean is these just get really, really tough. I mean, you might get good corners and everything, but this one is just, I don't know. It just depends on how the back looks on that. Here's another Gary Philbin. This one looks off left to right. Gene Howard looks left to right. I'm just looking for good borders. Stonebreaker is going to be a no. This Dave Williams, man, that could, card felt just like it was just pulled out of a pack, but it's just the centering on it's just not there. Um, this one is 
I have to say no on that. This Joe Morrison is top is too thin. That one's off left to right. This one's top is too thin on that. It's Gary Collins the same way. I don't know. Yeah, it looks off. We're looking for good centered cards. This Leroy Mitchell looks too too off. Sours off. This Fataha looks really good. I noticed that earlier, maybe a little bit on the left, but I think it's worth a second look. This Buck Buchanan looks really good. Um, I don't know. It's a tough call on that one. I may have to decide. And this Ron Yeri. He looks a little bit too far off. <laughs> this Claude Humphrey here looks really good. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. This Ron Johnson looks really good, too. Maybe a little thin on the bottom, but we'll take a second look at that. This Reggie Rucker. Looks really close. This Mike Phipps. Looks really good. This Bob Tucker. Looks really good, too, but I'm going to say no because of that bottom. And then uh, we're looking at Norm Sneed. I know there's there's a variation of this card because here's two 74s right here. You got an action variation and the other one. This one's a little bit off left to right, but the card is just really nice. I'm going to say no on it. This one, I'm going to give this one a chance, I think. Bobby Bell. Looks pretty good, just thin on the bottom, so I'm going to have to say no. This Willie Brown was about the best card I pulled out of those 71s. This Billy Kilmer looks pretty good. Here's another Bobby Bell that's off. This Leroy Kelly, the centering is just a little bit off on the top, but I'm going to take a second look at that one. This Willie Man Lanier is a shame. Bob Hayes looks pretty good. Maybe a little thin. It's worth a second look. Jan Stenerud, who is a Hall of Famer. I think it's off left to right. This Carl Eller's off left to right. And I got another one right behind it. And I, that's off. And those, I mean, these cards are really good condition. I mean, they feel like they're just pulled out of a pack. And I'm going to have to say no on both of these. Just because the top is thin on that one. This Dan Abramowitz looks really good. I don't know. You know see the blue? It looks almost purple. It's a variation. Or they just ran out of ink. It's supposed to be blue and it ran out. I'm going to take a second look at that one there. This one's too too thin on the top. Um, this Fran Tarkenton is worth sending over. The Allen Page... I know it's it's his rookie card. If I get it graded, I know we'll bring it up quite a bit. This is a really nice Bubba Smith card. And this Lance Rensel is awesome. So I did whittle it down quite a bit. But uh, that is the uh, card collection that I have just bought. And, uh, and now I've got my submissions down here to right here and I'll have to make a final decision um, I'm not sure if it's going to be worth it to send these or not I'm gonna to have to look into them again but we'll do a separate video on what I did send out and then when we get them back we'll see what what kind of grading they will give them but uh, that's all for now this is collecting in the D and this is Tim for 313 good job everybody Thanks for hanging in there with me. And uh, my next video is going to be opening up some of these clearance packs that I found at the Walmart. Uh, some 2017 Series 2. Hope wished it was 2018, but it's 2017. And then these were on clearance. These 2019 Baseball. They're not high numbers, but uh, the 70 Tops design. I just love that design. And they got the cloth stickers in there. 
So we'll check out and see what we find out of that. So we'll see you next time. This is Tim. Have a good night.